Good morning. If you're like me, there's nothing that you enjoy more than these brisk fall mornings that we're able to enjoy right now. You know, whether we're marveling at the Lord's beautiful tree line or whether we're thinking about that wonderful sunrise that we saw this morning, it's something that we are so thankful for. The success we have experienced this year is due to our members working together from each county in the state as one KFB. The Kentucky Farm Bureau Federation was planted with purpose throughout the Commonwealth in 2023. The purpose we serve is to develop solutions to problems we face in agriculture and in our home communities and improve the quality of life for all Kentuckians. During this past year, we have worked diligently toward advancing the goals set out by our members to enhance those efforts. We served our purpose by developing policy, advocating for our way of life, promoting leadership throughout our communities, and investing in our youth. During the 103rd annual meeting last December, our members voted on and adopted policy charting the course of KFB for this year. We took those to the American Farm Bureau's annual convention in January where they were voted on as part of their national policy book. We worked with our advisory committees who give counsel on the evolving needs of the different commodity groups in our state. And we have heard directly from our county farm bureaus as they have sent us new resolutions for our own policy book. As a voice of Kentucky agriculture, Kentucky Farm Bureau is advocating for our farm families and for our rural communities as we go forward in making this country in which we live better for those that follow us. Through our congressional tour, we were able to bring a delegation of Kentucky natives to the nation's capital to discuss their needs and gratitude with their U.S. representatives and senators and strengthen our organization's relationships with our elected leaders. We hosted two Measure the Candidate forums where our members could ask candidates for the gubernatorial and agriculture commissioner offices questions about how they plan to advocate for agriculture in Frankfurt. In August, we sold a grand champion ham for a record $10 million at our country ham breakfast, an event that continually unites our rural farm members with local politicians and business leaders and highlights the necessity of our farmers providing a safe and abundant food supply. Last month, KFB's executive committee and staff toured county farm bureaus in West Kentucky, connecting with members and listening to them firsthand. Our policy and advocacy efforts wouldn't be near as effective if it wasn't for our grassroots leadership and the leadership that they show from a county level. We prioritize developing leaders among our members, and through our president and vice president's conference, young farmer leadership conference and summer outing, our women's leadership conference, our Generation Bridge Conference and our LEAD program, leaders of all kinds have emerged and are moving our organization forward. While the emerging leaders of today are actively shaping Farm Bureau's efforts right now, we also heavily invest in our future leaders through our scholarship programs, relationship with the State 4-H and FFA, our regional teacher workshops, and our Institute for Future Ag Leaders, Kentucky Farm Bureau significantly values our youth and their education. And of course, our flagship member benefit, the Kentucky Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company has served our membership with the same care and purpose they've been providing Kentuckians for 80 years. Together, the KFB Federation and Insurance work as one organization for the betterment and protection of all of our members. This past year has been so memorable and so successful, and we as KFB appreciate the opportunity to serve you, our grassroots membership, as we go forward in prioritizing what is important for Kentucky agriculture in our rural communities. It's together that we form one strong KFB.